There are lots of exciting things going on in this place at the moment. This is a new idea. It's a, it's a new thing. There's, there's no roadmap to follow. Future congregations will not necessarily have church buildings as we know them. My name's Anne Stott and I'm the Community Minister for Bertha Park. I've been in post for 15 months. I'm Raymond Young. I'm the Chair of the General Trustees of the Church of Scotland. My name's Alan Wilson. I'm the Convener of Planning and Development Committee in the Presbytery of Perth. Bertha Park is a brand new development on the edge of Perth. There's going to be about 3,000 homes here eventually. And Perth Presbytery have decided to form a mission initiative so that we can try and form a new type of church here in Bertha Park. In the next few moments, I'm going to be speaking to some of the people involved in the project. I'm really excited about this project for a whole number of reasons. But one of the, the main reasons I'm so excited is that it's so different from other aspects of church work. And that enthuses me and uh, encourages me to see that there are little green shoots of hope in a new place. We spend a lot of time looking after existing buildings. We're looking after congregations in existing places. But Scotland is changing. Scotland is growing. And we need to do church planting in new places. And that's what's exciting about Bertha Park. This is a huge opportunity, which doesn't come very often, to actually talk about what does a church look like in a new area in the 21st century. And so starting with a shop seems a very sensible and rather exciting way of being visible to the community, of saying, come in and join us. I like the newness of it. I like the freedom to work out what to do next. Um, but I think one of the, the most exciting things is we have an opportunity as a church to do something new and fresh in a brand new place where there is no history of the church being here. The idea of presbytery mission initiatives really not been worked through. And so we're keen to be part of it uh, as a test case of how we go about church planting in this kind of way. It's not actually going to be used as a shop, it's going to be a community space, a hub where people can drop in and chat and we can build relationships and connections. It'll make all the difference in the world. It's really important to have a presence here in the community and to be accessible to people. It will give so much more opportunity to chat and meet people more regularly. Um, so, so having the shop will, will make a tremendous difference. For the community as well, it's the chance to have a community space. Because at the moment there is no community space, there is nowhere for people to get together. And I, I have been in touch with about a dozen council services and charities and they are all very keen to use the space in some way to support and serve the community as well. Support I would look for would be more folks to join and pray, uh, more folks maybe to come along. If I'm going to be here uh, a lot of hours during the week, it would be good to have one or two folks who are willing to come and just be a chum and welcome folk with me and chat to folk with me. And eventually I would hope that some folk would feel a call to come alongside and be part of the team here. So we're doing this as a, as a pilot. Don't tell any other presbytery, because if they come to us, we'll have to say, we don't know how to finance it from now on. But this one, we want to get this one going and see how it works. And therefore we're prepared to find the capital cost of buying the shop and kitting it out. At this point in time, we're asking the presbytery to fund either directly or through congregations, the, the soft furnishings, the white goods to make this a reality. This 
premises behind me needs to be kitted out to make it a, a warm, welcoming, inclusive place for everyone in Bertha Park. And so we do need further financial assistance. We are grateful to every congregation within the Presbytery who is already financially giving to this project through the giving of their Presbytery dues. But we are inviting congregations to reflect on this a little bit more and to think a little bit about what more could be done in this project. If this is a presbytery initiative, then we think in the future presbyteries are going to have to find more money from within the presbytery area. And maybe that's a good thing as we move into larger presbyteries, whereby congregations who have more cash than others can invest in the future mission within that presbytery. And I'm asking that everyone may go back to their own Kirk sessions and as individuals and as congregations to consider adopting Bertha Park as part of your mission plan. In the same way as perhaps you support Tear Fund or Christian Aid, in the same way as you support your local missionary partners, at this stage, we are looking for all types of support, including financial support. And when it comes to the financial sides, we're looking for all things, whether it's small gifts or large gifts. But in due course, we will be maybe asking those congregations with a little bit more to consider investing in this church in the future. But watch this space later on.